Well, welcome to this talk. Now, we'd noticed on a couple of days ago, I think it was, we did a video where we looked at the risks posed by the new vaccine, the new mRNA vaccine, which has just been authorised by the FDA in the United States, despite the risk of serious adverse events, which are known. Very difficult to explain. Let's hope change comes to the United States pretty soon. Uh, but in the course of my uh, research for that video, um, I came across this here. Then, now, this is the original um, inclusion and exclusion criteria for that trial. And um, it became obvious that, as in the previous trials, pregnant women are specifically excluded. Let me just show you this. And this is remarkably important. Um, you know, what could be more important than protecting the health of our uh, young pregnant women lactating mothers and of course our unborn children absolutely critical stuff i would have thought anyway um this is the study here check it out for yourself that's the reference now inclusion criteria so to be included in the study now this is really back to front and difficult to follow but the inclusion criteria in other words to be in the study for female participants of potential childbearing age they must have a negative pregnancy test. So in other words, they must have a negative pregnancy test to be included in the study. Or, or adequate contraception has been uh, adequate contraception or has abstained from all activities that could result in pregnancy. I wonder what activities could result in pregnancy, but that's the way they put it. Um, for at least 28 days prior to the first injection on the trial. An agreement to continue adequate contraception or abs abstinence through 90 days following the vaccine administration. So remember, this is to be included in the trial. So to be included in the trial, women must demonstrate that they are not pregnant, basically give their word that they couldn't become pregnant or be pregnant, and must not be pregnant for 90 days during the vaccine trial. Specifically excluded. So in other words, just in case we haven't got that, pregnant women or potentially pregnant women are excluded. Now, this was the case, sadly, uh, well, probably good for them at the time, for the original trial. The original, this is with the original Pfizer trial, but basically all the, um, all the COVID vaccine trials excluded pregnant women, as far as I'm aware. Um, so uh, that was the original Pfizer one. Uh, j just to give evidence of that, this report does not address the prevention of COVID-19 in other populations, such as younger adolescents, children or pregnant women. And yet the vaccine was rolled out to these people. Now, my question here is, how could all these great and good authorities authorise COVID vaccine based on no trial data at all for pregnant women? Based on zero trial data. They just started. And, 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 and the situation is still the same. Let me give evidence of this. So this is from the National Health Service. Uh, that is from... Um, this site here check it out for yourself now the reason i'm putting these up is these sites are live this is what is currently being recommended or at least the sites are live if it's not what's being currently recommended i would suggest the nhs change their site rather quickly as a matter of urgency but what are they saying it's strongly recommended strongly recommended strongly recommended that you get vaccination against COVID-19 protect you and your baby and there's other things there that sound a bit frightening um, that is currently on the NHS website um, so any woman who was pregnant would go to the NHS website and presumably take their advice let's look at some other uh, evidence Royal College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists updated on the 20th of October 2023 and again this is completely live stuff. That is, these are not screenshots. These are live from the internet. So what are this, uh, this august body, the Royal College of uh, Obstetricians and Gynecologists saying? COVID-19 vaccines are strongly recommended in pregnancy. Vaccination is the best way to protect the known risks of COVID-19 in pregnancy for both women and babies, according to the... So this, th these bodies basically started recommending COVID vaccine in pregnancy based on no trial data. Now, yes, of course, they've accumulated data as they've gone along. Uh, but of course, that's not longitudinal either. We don't know about increased cancer rates, for example. 
or maybe we do. The data is difficult to get hold of us, as we've bemoaned in previous videos. Anyway, that's their advice there. Uh, another august body, Vaccine Knowledge, Oxford uh, Vaccine Group. COVID vaccines are recommended during pregnancy due to an increased risk of serious illness and complications from COVID-19 in pregnant people. Um, now, I must say, the only people I've come across that are pregnant are women, so uh, any site that calls pregnant women pregnant people is somewhat questionable. But uh, how dare we question? This is from... Um, this is from Vaccine Knowledge, the uh, COVID vaccine in pregnancy group. I mean, th th this, this really is the, uh, the, the great and the good here that are all advocating for this based on zero trial data. Now, no one's saying, saying they're being coordinated by external forces. But it's strange that they've all come to this same strong recommendation. Um. Vaccines in pregnancy is in, against COVID-19 is strongly recommended by the Oxford group. So that was that one. Now, this is the JVCI update, Joint Committee on Vaccination and Immunisation for 2025. Uh, let's see what they're saying. And there is some um, modification of the opinion, if you want, showing that those other sites are indeed somewhat out. Well, I think you could say out of date. Uh, let me tell you what they say, then you can make your own mind up. Uh, so this is the latest from uh, this mob here, uh, UK government. Um, 2025, check it out for yourself. Pregnancy in ENX and young infants. Recent data indicates the risk of hospitalisation and or mortality in pregnant, in pregnant individuals. Good grief, this is my own government speaking here. I assume they mean pregnant women. Are significantly reduced in the Omicron period which started a rather long time ago, to be fair, British government. Notably, there were no deaths in people who were pregnant in the last 18 months, good to hear. Uh, and they do talk about it being attributable to other things. They can't work it out anymore. JVC advised that it was highly unlikely that vaccine in, pregnant, in pregnancy would be cost-effective. <laughs> cost-effective, there you go. So that is the latest there from the UK government. That's their statement. Now, last thing I'm going to do is report on this paper here. This is going back to 2021. Exclusion of pregnancy and lactating women from COVID-19 vaccine trials. A missed opportunity. Let's look at just a little bit of what this trial says. Um, that's the like link there. Check it out. The exclusion of pregnant and lactating women from COVID-19 vaccine trials reflects a historic pattern of protection by exclusion. So pregnant women and lactating mums pregnant, protected by exclusion. And yet all these august bodies, based on zero trial data, as you've as I said, makes this strong re recommendation. Is it just me that's seeing a mismatch here? Strong recommendations based on zero trial data. Anyway, let's go and look at what this said. Uh, representing uh, an instance in which the uh, estimated effect of a therapy or on mother or child will rely on anecdotal and delayed reports from healthcare settings. So instead of the trial data, we've got anecdote, anecdotal delays and delays from healthcare settings. Rather than monitoring, rather than the monitored setting of a clinical trial, this exclusion is not justified, according to this paper here. So. You might think that all these august bodies representing, uh, advising administration of experimental genetic preparations during pregnancy was reckless. If you think that, I think I've provided some potential evidence for that view. Um, based on zero trial data, they said, oh, no, off you go, off you go. Give it in pregnancy. Maybe we need to start taking the health of uh, pregnant women and unborn children. I was going to say more seriously, but perhaps as one of the most important things in life, if not the most important thing in life. Let me know what you think. As always, I remain confused. 
just so many contradictions, in my view. But let me know what you think. Are you confused as well? Or maybe you're outraged. Let me know. And thank you for watching.